This is Joe Chi, the founder and the creator of Screenulator and the Interactive Stock Charts. Today, I'd like to introduce you to how to use Screenulator system to benefit you in picking stocks and make better trading decisions. Like many traders, I have experimented with many trading systems and indica indicators over the last 15 years. But I found the classical chart patterns and the simple trend lines are the best prediction tools. Unlike RSI, MACD, or Stochastics, they don't use simple mathematical formulas but require human intuition to spot them. They're also important because large institutions tend to use them and they move large amount of investment that actually move the stock prices. I'll use Trendline today as an, an example. Of course, there are other uh, chart patterns I support uh, in screen later, such as double top, double bottom, head and shoulder, flat channel breakouts, uh, fast riser, fast definer, which are all supported by my website. And you can browse at your leisure. Trend lines are the most simple yet intuitive form of chart patterns, and they are highly rewarding and predictable and accurate in generating profits. A simple summary of uh, a trend line, what uh, for those who don't already know, it's uh, basically a straight line connecting three, two or three more points. Um, pivot points, what I call pivot points, are the peaks or bottom points formed by stock prices moving up and down. So as you can see in this chart, uh, I call this a support bottom trend line because it's at the bottom of this moving uh, stock prices and it forms a support when the stock price is comes near it, it stops and then it reverses. Up to 80% of the time, a well-formed, high probable, high quality trend lines um, hold and not be penetrated. Only 20% of the time, stock price actually penetrates the trend line. A stock bounded by both uh, top resistance line and bottom support lines are called a trend channel in this case. Stocks with a high quality trend line are very hard to find. Not every stock have a high quality trend line, and but if you find one, they are very easy to trade and have a much better chance of winning trades than using any other indicators. Whether it's up market, down market, or flat market, it doesn't matter. As long as you have a high quality trend line, then you can trade the stock with a very high confidence. The most common problem is not so much with how to use a trend line because 70% of the time the trend lines hold and 25 to 30% of the time the prices actually penetrate the trend lines, which means you can simply use the bottom line as a buy signal and uh, a top resistance line as sell signal. And even when 25% of the time when the price does penetrate, you can know exactly where the stop loss is so you don't get uh, lose too much or to get tied into a position uh, for, forever. Um, that, but the most common problem is actually identification of the trend line. Is the fact that some charts don't have clear indication where the trend lines are and it takes years of experience to know uh, how to draw a trend line properly. Um, and not every chart has, has good trend lines. So the, the stocks you've been following years uh, for years, you might not have a good trend line, or even if it does, it uh, could be very far away. Um, the price has been far away from the trend line, so there's no clear buy or sell signal. And to further compound the problem, there are tens of thousands of stocks traded in the market every day, and it's going to take enormous amount of time to look through the, all the charts individually and, and analyze uh, where the trend, long-term, short-term uh, trend lines with a different time frame. And up until now, only large uh, banks and institution traders had resources to do so. And they are the ones that uh, are able to quickly spot uh, which stocks out of seas of tens of thousands of stocks are, are the best uh, time to trade. So um, for that purpose, I created a UI algorithm, uh, AI algorithm to automatically identify trend lines and chart patterns in any charts 
and screen over tens of thousands of stocks in many many world markets and publish the screening results every day so that you can pick the highly probable stocks and identify highly uh, profitable high potential chart patterns to trade. So now I'm going to show you a couple of examples of uh, typical trend line or uh, flat channel breakout screen qualifiers. So here's an example of near support level screen qualifier. This is using interactive stock charts app, uh, desktop version. There is also an Android version on uh, Google Play. Uh, it's free to download and it comes uh, free as part of my uh, subscription package. The ability of this chart uh, to scroll back and forth and show the detailed information on each price point uh, uh, is very useful uh, in analyzing any stock uh, chart patterns. Uh, as you can see, you can scroll back and forth in uh, any stock uh, chart history freely. Um, and there is, you can see a trend line forming between A, B, C uh, a support uh, bottom line for this stock uh, between 2012 and 2013 in a three-year uh, time frame. And when the stock price re-approaches this trend line here at D, a near support level alert is issued and alert stock traders to buy. And what happens next as you scroll into the future, you can see the stock price does bounce uh, off the trend line and it moves higher. But soon it moves back down again to, to E around just under $15. Then as you can see it gets much higher. So here's another example. Uh, Glog, Gas Log, it's a company that uh, ships liquefied natural gas on vessels. As you can see, there is a, a very steady uptrending line uh, from point A through F. Along the way, you had many opportunities to make uh, good profits, such as point D, buy point at E, buy at point F. Uh, you could have bought the stock at any of these points at low teens and the stock ultimately went to uh, mid-20s. But what's interesting here uh, in this chart is that there is another steeper trend line formed after stocks started taking off in the late 2013. And as you can see, this uh, steeper trend line uh, was eventually penetrated, then um, followed by recovery back into the, this trend line and it being retested. Retesting to me is very important uh, that I find 80% of the time when this trend line is penetrated, the stock usually recover 80% of the time, very high uh, chance that the recovery will try to retest this line. And when the retest fails, the stock ultimately goes into a long-term decline like it happens here. But what's further interesting is that if you scroll uh, further into the future, you can see that the old trend line seems to hold uh, at point G, H, and I. That a, an old trend line um, ended about a year ago at F and still valid to uh, very recently. Um, this shows you that how important uh, trend long-term trend line is and sometimes the trend line can hold for years if not decades. So here's an example of flat channel breakout pattern. Flat channel breakout is a little different from trend, trend line patterns that it doesn't connect pivotal points. Instead, it draws one uh, line through the center of the stock charts that has been flat or stable for a long period of time, usually over the course of a year. Uh, then followed by a, a high volume surge and a breakout of uh, from its long 
time long term range um, in this case between 13 and 18 dollars but um, this pattern flat channel pattern is actually favorite of uh, many of my students because it has very high profit potential and but it is very rare uh, much more rare than other trend line uh, patterns so you don't find a lot of uh, trading candidates but thanks to my uh, screenolator uh, screener it it does give you a couple of uh, these good uh, breakout patterns a week that you can potentially have a very nice uh, uh, profit in one or two just just one or two trades so um, this ch chart is a uh, ESPR uh, Esperon Therapeutics it, uh, they develop cholesterol drugs as you can show uh, as you can see in on uh, September of 2014 there is a, a high volume breakout uh, price uh, surge uh, three and a half dollars in just one day. Um, but prior to that, uh, four or five or six days ago, there was two high volume days, which further confirms the significance of this uh, uh, single day breakout. And this is actually the, the September 24th, the detection date of of the breakout and not surprisingly uh, after the market closed there was an announcement of phase 2 uh, trial um, being released uh, for a cholesterol drug which um, I won't get too much into the fundamentals but uh, a lot of times you notice that the stock price moves even before the news announcement uh, like in this case is because a lot of insider and and a lot of expectation built into the stock that's already moved this, uh, the stock price and by the time you hear the news it's already too late for the trigger so if you um, uh, followed bought the stock on this day um, given the, the the breakout detection uh, from the screener results uh, as you can see the stock uh, just skyrockets from this level and it just keeps climbing uh, one good things thing about the breakout uh, flat channel breakout pattern is that the stocks usually uh, continue uh, the trend instead of just the one day wonder because the price has been sitting uh, still for a long period of time one year two years sometimes five years not moving and one day there is high volume surge that's usually uh, break the stock out of its uh, traditional trading range and have a lot of uh, new buyers coming in and it, the same patterns used by institutions. Institutional traders also show up on their radar screen and further uh, uh, makes the stock go up. Um, but there, even after some pullback, if you are patient enough and wait uh, uh, by at the pullback, you can very you can see the stock just has just keeps climbing and climbing and until recently it has at one hundred dollars. As a screenulator member, you can access screener results from both websites and uh, my mobile and or desktop applications. Uh, this is what the screeners uh, page looks like. You can see there is a list of uh, screeners uh, separate, separated by categories, chart patterns, trend line patterns, 913 count trend reversal or TD sequential pattern, and of course traditional technical analysis oscillators like RSI, fast statistics, and MACD, etc., and basic statistics. For example, if you open flat channel breakout, you can filter by the market. I support over 14, 13, 14 world markets. 
now I'm looking at the United States one and you can see a list of stocks uh, that been, uh, satisfy the flat channel breakout 100 day uh, criteria on this particular date and with a thumbnail being shown and this is from the previous day and so on the desktop version of interactive stock chart uh, has a custom screener which allows you to combine and customize your own screener um, for example you can combine uh, chart patterns with the technical oscillator uh, indicator uh, patterns for example you can say I want all the stocks uh, uh, with a closing price greater than 10. Uh, let's set the market filter here, say United States. Uh, that instantly tells you there are 4,855 stocks that's uh, with a value greater than 10. And let's say we want uh, stocks that are satisfied is close to the bottom support uh, trend line. Add. It tells you there are 156 stocks uh, that's close to support level today, and combined with the closing price criteria, there are 124 uh, stocks that satisfies the both criteria. Then you can say. Um, what about stocks that are uh, close to RSI 30? Let's make it 31. Uh, just because sometimes when it's close to 30.5, uh, I also wanted to show up on the screen and then take a closer look. To add that, there are 500 something uh, stocks that satisfy RSI, but there are only three that satisfies both both uh, of all three of the criteria. Then you can uh, view the results, and these are the stocks that satisfy these the criteria. Then you can open their individual charts. RSI close to 30. There must be a trend line. Here you can verify that by generating the trend line. And indeed, you see this. Uh, Stocks both close to the trend line at uh, close to $32 and RSI. So I would, for this stock, I would wait for a couple of maybe one or two days when it's actually closer to the trend line. I'll make a uh, buy decision. So thank you for watching this uh, introduction video. Um, there are more information on my website, so please check it out. Uh, more examples and uh, video tutorials and such. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, don't uh, hesitate to email me at joe at screenlater.com. I always welcome uh, constructive suggestions. Uh, but if you have any questions about particular feature, how to use them, or suggestions how to improve my apps, I'm very happy to uh, talk with you. And uh, yeah, um, thank you and have a good trading.